tonight from Minute Maid Park in Houston, Texas. It is game one of the 2021 World Series between the Atlanta Braves and the Houston Astros. Heading out to the mound now to toss our first pitch. Please welcome the one and only Craig Biggio. On the mound for the Astros left-hander Framber Valdez making his fourth start of this postseason. 1-0 so far. A masterpiece in game five of the ALCS in Boston. And it'll be Jorge Soler leading things off for the Atlanta Braves. He is the DH. Here's one slammed into left field. How about that start to the World Series? Soler will take the trip. And he puts Atlanta up one zip with a first swing of the fall classic. That ball is gone. one nothing Braves. And Jorge feels like busting loose. And that's how you start a World Series. That's a good sign of things to come. That is an amazing start. One nothing Atlanta. Here's Freddie Freeman. Here's Freeman with a ground ball. What a play by Atuve. He got him. What a play. I mean, you just can't do it any better. And Altuve ended up in center field when he let that thing go. So now 3 0 on Austin Riley. Runner at second, one down. Here is Riley with a ball into left center field. It's going to make it 2 0. Cut off by McCormick, but it's an RBI double, and the Braves have come up flying here in game one. The Braves have rolled up their sleeves, and they've come out of the corner just firing haymakers of the Astros here in the top of the first. If there's a better hired gun in baseball these days, I don't know who it would be. Charlie Morton is a guy that you want on the mound. Yeah, he's going against his former team, and a very tough team is that. The bases are loaded for the Astros and Kyle Tucker. One pitch on the way. Round ball right side. Ozzie gets to it. Gloves it. Spins around. Fires the first and gets the out. Terrific play by Ozzie Albies. In shallow right. Gloved it. 360 spin and delivered a good throw. And the Astros leave him loaded in the bottom of the first inning. Two on one out. Solaire who homered on a 2-0 pitch back in the first inning. Browns one to short. Correa will throw to third. A run scores. And they have Peterson hung up. Tagged out. 2-0. Now 3 nothing Atlanta. Watching Fromber Valdez pitch to Eddie Rosario, leading it off in the third. He did so much damage against the Dodgers. And a ground ball right side base hit. That is already seven hits by the Braves against Valdez. Come out and have a visit with Valdez now, and he's not happy at all. He takes a walk around the third base side of the mound, almost wishing he was anywhere but right there. He had a scowl on his face, and now it's just a, a look of disbelief. At first, no one out to do ball. Patiently waiting. Valdez just trying to fight to stay in the game. This one is a rocket into left and gone. Five nothing Atlanta here in the third inning. As Duvall goes deep, what a start to game one for the Braves. Can you think of anything better than hitting a World Series homer? Not a thing. My gosh, that ought to get Adam going. Another missile right into the seats, and the fans have already launched it back. Here comes Dusty Baker. That's it for Valdez. It's Altuve leading things off. Top of the order for Houston. Altuve <laughs> strikes out looking for the second time. There it was. Well, now Charlie seems to be heard George Poulos, Braves trainers, coming out there to the mound. I think that's suddenly going to be it for Charlie. Oh, no. Say it ain't so. Braves have announced that Charlie Morton underwent x-rays tonight that revealed a right fibula fracture. He's going to miss the remainder of the World Series. They say he's expected to be ready for spring training in 2022. Terrible news for the Braves and for Charlie Morton. And A.J. Minter is the new pitcher for Atlanta. Bradley trying to get on in front of Bregman. 2-1 pitch. He is ripped into right. That'll get to the wall, and Bradley will cruise into second base with a one-out double. Bregman, the batter, grounded out his last time up. Left side. Nice little short hop pickup by third baseman Riley. The tag at first, two out. So a big reason the, the Braves have five lefties locked and loaded in their bullpen is because of this man, Jordan Alvarez. 2-2 two -two to Alvarez. He struck him out on a nasty pitch down and away. Tucker on third, Gurriel on first, trailing by five. And here's McCormick. Pretty good track record, not only as a big leaguer, but as a minor leaguer against lefties. Left side. Swanson in to score is Tucker going to third is Gurriel and it's five to one here in the fourth and the line keeps moving should have been an easy play for Dansby Swanson 
It certainly should have been might have been able to turn two on that it would have been close but obviously should have gotten at least one. See how the Braves want to manage this inning. A.J. Minter's out there on the mound. Brantley raked one on him his first time up against him. Fly ball into left. Back is Rosario for the out. And Minter will stay in to deal with Bregman. The presence of Jordan Alvarez on deck. Pitch on the way. Got him looking strike three. That was a beautiful cutter. And he throws Bregman. As Alvarez 0 for 1 with a walk. That'll be the last batter he faces, and he will get an incredible that a boy when he gets back to the dugout. Here's the 2 2. Hit in the air to center field and line with Adam Duvall. Goes over to his right, and he's under it. And that's a very good inning for A.J. Minter. And a good two and two thirds all together for A.J. Two on, one out after a double and a walk. Ryan Stanek. And he's been scoreless in seven of his eight postseason appearances so far. He's been lights out. Travis Darno, the catcher, he's at the plate. And the ground ball to short. Correa. Altuve. Not in time. Stanek wants his dugout to check. And they're going to have the umpiring crew go look at it. This is under review, and it looks like Darno's out. Stanek saw it. And it looks like an inning ending double play. So headphones off, he's out. Stan, it gets his man. He was the first in Dansby, back to the top of the order to Solaire. There's pitch to Ore. Check swing and a tapper. Stanick comes off the mound and he gets to it but has no play. Rounding second, heading for third, Dansby. Ball kept on rolling by Stanick. That is a check swing base hit for Jorge Soler, perfectly placed as they were on the ship, Joe, and there's nobody behind <laughs> Stanick. Well, and he turned into a beach whale trying to get to that baseball. <laughs> he was rolling over and trying to corral it, and he was going to try to make a play to first base, but he never got control of it. Well, Stanick is out, and the left-hander Brooks Rayleigh takes takes over first and third Freddie Freeman up for Atlanta and a little pop up into shallow right Tucker with Swanson tagging here's the play at the plate and third. safe as Swanson gets around the tag six to one Atlanta here in the eighth a dash to the plate and I don't think anyone expected it and it's 6-1 Braves. How about that hustle? How about that for an RBI for Freddie? About a 200-foot fly ball sack fly. And Matzik, who came on to allow a hit and then got a strikeout of Bregman when the seventh deals with Alvarez. And Alvarez pokes it deep to center. It sends back Duvall, still going back at the wall, and it's off the wall. Alvarez motoring for second as the ball bounces back toward the infield, and Alvarez will get to third base with his second triple of this postseason. I mean, that just shows you how strong he is. I'm telling you, he doesn't give way. It, it's so incredible to be this big and this strong and not be a free swinger, and he stays on a tough pitch. Correa the batter, 0 for 2 with a walk. Shot, a run scores. Albies makes the play, and Freeman digs it out. And the Braves happily trade and out for a run. Now it's Yuli's turn. He's one for three with a single. Mr. Guriel swinging a deep drive to left field. Eddie Rosario trying to get there. Spins around. It's over his head. That's off the wall. Guriel heading for second. Here comes the throw. Ozzy with a tag. They got him! Wow! That ends the inning. Huge out at second base. Played the carom off the wall. Spun around and fired. Great catch at second and tagged by Ozzy. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. Will Smith will try to close it out. Braves leading 6-2. 1-1. Altuve goes. Brown ball out to Ozzy. Boots it. Picks it up. Throws to first base. And deep in the heart of Texas, the Braves have taken game one. They are three wins away from a World Series championship. Michelob Ultra Organic Seltzer. As real as it tastes.